Do you guys think Todd is going to appreciate this? He's going to be like, oh, like, are, are cats colorblind? Do you know how dogs are colorblind, but they're not really colorblind? They're only colorblind in certain colors, but people think they're, like, totally colorblind? Are cats colorblind? Cat people, let me know. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a get ready with me so that we can hang out and chat, but it's not just any get ready with me. Today is a get ready with me in honor of my cat, Tut. Tut like the king. And today, poor little Tut is at the vet getting snipped. That's right, he's getting neutered. He is probably, as we speak, getting those two furry little balls chopped off. Should we have a moment of silence for Tut's balls? I think we should. So I was talking to Keith last night about doing a get ready with me today and I made a joke that I would do like a cat eye in honor of Tut and then we just started talking about it and decided that I should do it. So this is going to be a makeup tutorial for my cat. Not for my cat, like I'm not doing it on my cat. And it's not gonna be like costume makeup, this isn't a Halloween look, it's gonna be like a wearable look just inspired by Tut. Love you Tutters. Here we go. Hey guys, Future Robin jumping in here real quick to show you what the final results will be. So just keep watching. So for those of you that don't follow me on Snapchat, um, you probably didn't see this all unfold. By the way, can we talk about this guy? Like, do you see this? I realize that as someone who like usually doesn't get breakouts, it's really annoying for me to talk about one thing on my face, but I swear that if I were to grow a horn, that is exactly where it would be. It's like front and center. This cat showed up, I don't know, a number of weeks ago, maybe a couple months, and was immediately really friendly. Like, I assumed it had a home somewhere because it just wanted to, like, jump in my arms. And after a while, it just started coming back all the time, and eventually, he wouldn't leave. And just decided that he was our cat. So that's how we got this cat. We did a whole bunch to try to figure out if he had an owner, because he's so sweet. He seems like he was somebody's cat, but... I don't know what happened, but he needed a home and he worked his way into ours. Because we're suckers. So I swear now that I live in the country, I must be like emitting some sort of signal to all the stray animals because all the stray animals just show up at my house and try not to leave. Like this dog showed up the other day and like I saw the dog outside and literally just came to the back door and started whining like it lived here. Like it was like ready for dinner or something. We did find that dog's home though, so that was good. But pretty soon I'm gonna have like 20 animals. It's ridiculous. I'm just gonna do my concealer and powders. This part's boring, so we're gonna speed it up into overdrive. Here we go. I primed and set my eyes so we're ready to move on with the eyeshadows. And I'm going to recommend in general that if you make videos, do not try brand new makeup techniques that you've never done before while filming. Bad idea. 
and that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Okay, so in the last Jaclyn Hill video I watched, she used powder, like a bake, to create the sharp edge. You know how like a lot of times you'll put tape there, but she used powder instead, and I'm gonna try that and see if it works. This could be a disaster, but um, you know, it washes off, it's just makeup. The idea for this look is that Tut has these really pretty green eyes and he's a black cat, so there's gonna be a lot of black liner, wing liner, and green. That's pretty much it, it's not that complicated, but I have not decided what shadows to use. So give me a minute. Okay, so I have a few different greens that would work. I think this one's too dark, that's from the Little Rock Pro 2. This one is close, this is a Makeup Geek foil shadow, but I'm not sure it's gonna show up as like super green. Sometimes those are so metallic that they just look really like metallic without looking like a color. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one, which is the L'Oreal, uh, what's it called, Infallible eyeshadow in Golden Sage. I really like this shadow. So the first thing I'm gonna put down is Nectar, which is my favorite transition color of all time. And Jacqueline said you can just like take this over onto the powder and not have to worry about it. We'll see, Jacqueline. We'll see. I like this transition shade because it puts down like enough warmth without being too dark. Okay, and then to start deepening things up, I'm gonna start with Cool Gray. And I'm gonna focus this more on the outer half of the crease. It's not gonna go up quite as high as Nectar, the transition shade, and it's not gonna go as far in either. So I've had some really great conversations with you guys who have cats, and you guys have helped me so much with this whole cat thing because I don't know anything about cats, but I swear that this cat thinks he's a dog. This cat has an insatiable appetite. Like, aren't cats supposed to be really picky and like, not like total pigs? This cat is a total pig. Like, I could feed it any time of day and it won't stop eating. And we actually tried to buy this, uh, cat litter for him that was made out of corn. It's supposed to be like, I don't know, better for the cat and better for the environment and I'm a sucker so I bought freaking expensive cat litter and I put it in the litter box and he just starts chowing down on it. Like, like eating his litter. I mean it was corn but still like that's disgusting. So we had to get rid of that. The other day I found him literally like digging down into the garbage disposal trying to get food out. Also, he likes to chew sticks, which I feel like is a dog thing, and he's like very, very attached to me and like follows me around. Like when I go outside, he just wanders around the yard following after me. I feel like this is not very cat-like, but I could be wrong. I need to focus. I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. Okay, so that's the first level of depthness depthness down and so I'm gonna go in with black. So I'm starting by just sort of making that sideways V shape and then I'm gonna get a fluffier brush to diffuse it. Poor Tut. Oh, did you guys, you guys see my mug today? This is also in honor of Tut. This is not a joke. This is a real mug that people buy that was gifted to us. So my husband's brother gave him that mug for Christmas and thought it was kind of funny. And I wanted to see if there were other ones because I thought like balls, that's funny. You know, maybe there would be one that said like shit or something. And they're called dirty mugs, I think. Is that what it's called? Dirty dishes by my only regret besides dying. That's what it says. And so I looked it up and like, no, like there are not other things like balls and shit. Like they are like graphic. Like it is not cute. Not cute. <laughs> then I'm going to go back into the gray, the cool gray to kind of blend out the edge. Okay, I think I'm using my powder, so I'm going to touch that up before we go on. So this is not a complicated look. This is gonna be really simple, but now I'm going in with that L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow. These are freaking gorgeous. Isn't that the prettiest color? I love this color. Tut, you have such pretty eyes. Poor Tutters. Getting the snip snip. 
I'm totally going to be going back to the vet to pick them up like with this dramatic eye look. Okay, I want to deepen up the crease a little bit, but I don't want it to like go too far down on the lid. So I'm going to use a pencil brush and take some of the like gray and black over and then blend it out. Never done this before, so again, we'll see how this shit goes. Use that same brush to deepen up this edge. No, not that brush. This one. So for the inner corner, I want it to have kind of a little bit of a golden pop to it. So I'm going to grab light gold from the Lorac Pro 3 palette. And I'm going to put a little bit of Blanc and Almond Pearl on the brow bone. Okay, so I need to do liner and the lower lash line and lashes, but I'm kind of afraid to do the liner with the bake on. I feel like if I get my liquid liner pen into it, it's gonna like gunk it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off and then we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna take this black and just kind of blend out the bottom. Using a little of the gray. I feel like when I have tape, I can like really go all the way to the edge and I was being a little bit too careful with the powder. So I'm gonna take a little bit of black and make sure it really connects all the way to where the liner is. And hopefully not mess it up. Clean brush to blend that edge. All right, so the eyes are done. I'm gonna do the rest of the face quickly. I mean, Tut is all black, so the rest of the face is not a focal point. Yeah, I don't want much color, so I'm gonna use my MAC Warm Soul Blush. I know I keep using this and talking about it, but that's just because I love it. And then for highlight, I'm gonna go with my old standard, Mary Lou. Todd does not have a highlight, but I think he would understand that this is very necessary. He gets me. I'm gonna use this Milani Moisture Matte Lipstick in Matte Innocence. Am I? I don't know. It's a little dull. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Flower Beauty Velvet Lip Chubby in Mauve Over. That's less dead looking, right? So thanks for hanging out with me today on this very momentous day. For poor little Tut, I hope he likes the makeup look. What do you guys think? Let's so go down to the comments and let me know what types of videos you want to see next. Hop on over to Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram and follow me at Robin's Cup. And I'll see you guys here next time. Bye! Because of that, I want to do a Q&A. So scroll down to the comments and let me know what types of videos.